This video will cover how to review the results of a test after candidates take it. In the test section on the left hand side, you can either scroll through the test or search for a test by name, domain or candidate. Once you found the test that you want to review, click on that test and it will open the candidates tab. Here you'll see an overview of results for candidates who've taken the test. You'll also see names of candidates who've been invited to take it, but haven't done so yet. For those who've taken the test, you'll find their overall score in the score column, then the score for each of the domains tested, and finally the total amount of time it took them to take the test. Now let's discuss how to manage the candidates. They start with a to review status but you can mark them as rejected or passed as you decide who makes it to the next stage. You can also update the status for multiple candidates at once by using the checkboxes if you have many candidates. Let's go ahead and dial in to Edward B. Finlay's specific test. First, we see the results for both the tested domains and the subskills. To see the candidate's answer to any individual question, Click on View Detailed Report. In addition to seeing answers, you can also use playback to watch how candidates wrote their answers to code and free text questions. As you peruse the test, you can navigate to the Candidates tab to add any tags or comments. You can also see the history of the location the candidate received the test, started the test, and completed the test based on the approximate geolocation of their IP address. It can be a sign of cheating if the location varies throughout the different steps. Codepad also highlights suspicious behavior in the reporting. To find out the reason for a cheating flag, click on the candidate, then click on the warning. You can then review the evidence yourself. If you decide it was not cheating, you can uncheck the box so that the candidate's answer for the question is included in their total score. This will also remove the cheating flag. Finally, if you're dealing with many candidates, use this filter to see only candidates who've completed the test, or click here to see only candidates who are yet to be reviewed 